We're not going to give you the full 16 picks, Mel, but we, we will give you number two because things get interesting, my friend. The commanders take a quarterback, but might not be the one that America is thinking. Who you got? I'm going Jaden Daniels, a uh, quarterback from LSU, formerly of Arizona State, who Herm Edwards, who recruited him, I said, give me a cop. He gave me Randall Cunningham, Herm did, who knows Jaden Daniels as well as anybody. Everybody says Lamar Jackson. He went with Randall Cunningham. You look at the uh, skill set field, the dual threat capabilities, and the fact that he was aggressive with his throws, aggressive running with the football, yet he didn't turn it over. And that's a tough tap dance to be able to throw 40 touchdowns, four picks only, don't turn it over, yet go out there and just let it rip field. And he would let it rip to Brian Thomas Jr. and Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors has a chance to be a really high pick. Brian Thomas Jr. has a chance to be a mid-first rounder. So he did have two great receivers to throw to. But you look at the improvement he showed this year. Look at the touchdowns, way up, right? Completion percentage, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was outstanding in 2022, OK? He did some great things at Arizona State before he came there. He put on a little weight. He was not about a 180, 185 any longer. So I think the fact that Jaden Daniels did what he needed to do this year in terms of adding weight to that frame, improving in all areas to the point field where he went from a third, fourth, fifth round type of pick to a top five pick guaranteed, and I think the second pick overall. So when I look at, you mentioned the quarterbacks, okay? Mahomes extending things. Josh Allen being Superman out there. Lamar Jackson being unbelievable doing what he does, okay? Those types of quarterbacks that really I think when you talk about threatening a defense, stressing a defense, you think you, ha you have a defense. You saw Spagnuolo on the sidelines when Josh made that remarkable play, touchdown pass to, to Shakir, okay? You know, he's just saying, I there's nothing else we can do. Just chalk it up to being a great quarterback, Josh. You're great. And Mahomes, you're great. The great ones make unbelievable plays, okay? Nobody else can. Jaden Daniels showed that capability. That's why I think the dual threat capability that he has, the ability to do things that very few can do, is the reason why I think he could go number two overall. And also the fact that Drake May, late in the year, the Virginia, NC State, missing open receivers, not as accurate and precise as he has been and could be in the NFL. So I still love Drake May. I don't think I, there's any doubt about that. He's going to go, I think, either two or three. But for Jaden, ride that momentum. Look at where he is as a player right now and look at the league and what those defenses really struggle against. That's a quarterback like Jaden Daniels. Absolutely, Mel. And by the way, we are, you know, Monday morning quarterbacking right now as it pertains to the divisional round of the playoffs. And so often we are talking about quarterbacks in clutch moments. How do they perform when the light are shining brightest when the stakes are at their highest under two minutes to go gotta have it situations down big in the fourth quarter you name it your defense is doing absolutely nothing for you whatever the circumstances might be and find me a player this year in college football who more often than not put his team on its back when he needed to and the results were borderline lights out now you think about the Florida game 295 rushing yards for Jaden Daniels the Missouri game, that Missouri team who's going to be loaded with NFL draft prospects. Probably a first-round corner in Ennis Rakestraw Jr. They've got Chris Abrams Drain, another maybe third, fourth-round pick at corner. Darius Robinson, going to be a second, third-round pick at defensive end. I mean, you got all kinds of NFL talent on that defense, and they had no answers. None for Jaden Daniels when that game was coming down to it in the fourth quarter, even Alabama, a team that we know not only has guys who will go in the first round this year on defense mail, but unless they lose them all to the transfer portal, it's got to have probably, I don't know, 10, 12 guys that will eventually be drafted in the first round currently on the roster that aren't even draft eligible yet. Jaden Daniels, compared to his own standards, was just okay against Alabama mail, and he had nearly 400 yards of offense. When the moment was at its biggest, Jaden Daniels was at his best. I'm a big believer and the importance of clutch production for quarterbacks. Like the ones that show they can consistently do it are a difference maker, whether it's a Patrick Mahomes, who has been the standard, at least in terms of the quarterbacks that are out there right now. Tom Brady obviously defined it for 20 plus years. Lamar Jackson started to pile up those moments. At least this past Saturday was a good step in that direction. To me, the moxie, the intangibles that Jaden Daniels brings to the table are just so good that it's hard for me to bet against him. You mentioned Drake Maymel, and I think that one of the realities when it comes to these mock drafts is that when you're taking one guy, it's viewed as a slight against the other guy. But why not Drake May number two overall? 
Well, I just look at a couple games, and it's a couple games against teams they should. They were 24-point favorite over Virginia, lose the game. NC State, better team, but he still struggled in that game, particularly early on. You think about not having Tez Walker early in the year. Think about what he was able to do. You see him there catching the touchdown pass. Had he had him from the get-go, which he should have, but the NCAA said no, and he had to wait, right? He didn't have uh, a, a Downs, who moved on to the NFL and the Indianapolis Colts. Green as well, lost his two top targets. So, again, and then didn't have Walker uh, in the, early in the year. But the precise passing, putting the ball on the money where the receiver can do the maximum with the football after the catch, that was lacking on some plays. Now, again, is it nitpicking? Well, it's a couple games against teams where the pressure wasn't there. He had time to throw in the pocket. He had guys open, and he flat out missed them. And I think when you look at Drake, I think you look at the ability to move. He can do that. He can stress the defense with his legs. He's an outstanding athlete. He's got a heck of an arm. Hey, people compare him to Justin Herbert. I had no problem with that. Justin Herbert was the third quarterback taken when he came out, right? Behind Joe Burrow and Tua. Josh Allen was a third quarterback taken. People forget that. Third quarterback taken behind Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold, right? Ben Roethlisberger, third quarterback taken behind Eli Manning and Phillip Rivers. That third quarterback over the years, I can go one and one. There's more than what I said, but we know we got time here. We can't do it all about this pick here and all about this one quarterback. But the third quarterback off the board has hit big in a lot of years. And Drake May or Jaden Daniels, whatever that third quarterback is, history tells us uh, there's a chance he's going to have success. And for Drake May, these teams also, think about New England. Washington, Chicago, and where we are right now, where they are at quarterback, uh, they gave Sam Howe a chance. Mac Jones, I don't, I mean, Mac Jones got a raw deal. I mean, Mac Jones was not dealt a great hand there. Uh, you thought about the coordinator, think about the sex he had as a rookie, then the coordinators changes, they bring guys in that aren't offensive coordinators. You think about where we are right now in terms of receivers at New England, the offensive line, Washington as well, uh, you with you know, Sam Howe now needing a quarterback. So these teams, they gave the guy a shot, uh, and it just didn't work. Uh, some No fault of Mac Jones, I think. Mac Jones needs help, and he didn't get it. He's not a quarterback and carry on a team on his shoulders and offense. So uh, with Drake May, you still got to help him outfield. You got to get some help on the offensive line. You got to get receivers. We know that. So it doesn't matter who the quarterback is, you got to get those guys around him to help. And New England's going to have some work to do other than just getting a quarterback and pick number three. Yeah, two closing thoughts there. One, I think you and I should both get a tattoo. I don't think either of us is big tattoo guys yet, Mal, but we should get a tattoo maybe across our forehead that says, I, in all capital letters, love QB3 because whoever it is is still a player. That we love. It's just that somebody has to be quarterback one. Someone's going to slide in between quarterback three and, and quarterback one. And then someone's going to be quarterback three. Like, it's okay. Jaden Daniels or Drake May or even if it's Caleb Williams somehow are all awesome, awesome players uh, to go third amongst these quarterbacks.